Good evening to you. I'm Christine Johnson, and we begin tonight with cops and canines descending on a New Jersey neighborhood after a deadly shooting in Middlesex County. One person was killed, the other critically injured. And tonight, we are hearing from the resident who watched the dramatic arrest unfold on her ring camera. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has been covering the story all day, and he's live in Carteret with the latest. Dave? Christine, a manhunt that began this morning is now over the suspect found in a nearby backyard. You see the arrest of the suspect in this ring video provided by a Carteret neighbor. Police were called to say the person of interest whose photo had been released by law enforcement matched a man seen on the property. All of a sudden, I see all these SWAT cars come and they parked here and they started shooting, uh, shouting, he's in there. And there he was. But I didn't know, we didn't know he was in there. I saw him run into a backyard, and then, then um, the cops followed him. They were right behind him, and then he just complied with them. It was not far from the double shooting crime scene where Wednesday morning two women were found side by side in front of a house, both shot. They're just laid out on the driveway. Um, uh, they weren't really moving. After the injured women were airlifted to a hospital, one died. The surviving victim is listed in critical condition. The search for the suspect involved blocking streets and searching properties with canine officers. A nearby school was locked down. Students sheltered in place. They just shut down the whole place, you know? They don't want anybody to go out. They just left everybody inside. It's definitely precaution. Resident Bobby Woods told us where he noticed a big concentration of police officers searching. If you look all the way down at the end of the bridge, there's train tracks are, that run underneath there, and they're focused in over there. They got the canines in. Closing busy Roosevelt Avenue inconvenience drivers. None of the officers know where I can go through, and then my mother's waiting for me for an appointment. We do not know what led up to the shooting. Live in Carteret, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.